Document templates allow you to create default settings for documents that you'll send to customers and vendors throughout your jobs. We have five different types of document templates. The bid requests are sent to vendors, such as subcontractors and suppliers, to collect quantity and cost data. Our customer orders are used as legally binding contracts between yourself and your customer regarding the job scope and the job price. Your customer invoices will be used to collect payment from your customers. You can leverage the integrations with one of our payment processors to allow your customers to make payments directly on the document by visiting the integrations tab in your settings. Vendor orders are used to log committed costs that you are not quite spending yet. So essentially stating that we intend to pay this amount to a specific vendor, but at a later time. We also have vendor bills, and these are used to record a payment or an expense that you've made toward a vendor, such as a receipt, or you can mark a bill as payable, indicating that it's ready to be paid. Now you can customize each document template by clicking on each one and editing the settings. Your settings are on the left, while a preview of the document is on the right. Update the document name. Maybe we'd like to call this an estimate or a quote rather than a proposal. Then add default text throughout the document. The proposal details will appear above the line items. So this is a great place to add your scope of work details. So you might want to leave some of this blank here until you use it for a particular job. Then the footer appears below the line items. This is a great place for your terms and conditions, maybe your provisions and your contract language. Next, you can add a default email message that can be further customized each time you use this template. The prepared by section lets you indicate a specific person you'd like listed at the top of the document. This is especially helpful if you have multiple team members creating these documents. Additional settings are listed at the bottom and this will apply defaults to each document made from this template. These settings can be overridden on each document if needed. Lastly, by adding files to the template, they will be copied and attached to each document that uses this template. Once satisfied with your changes, click Save and your updated template will be ready to use throughout the system. You also have the option to create additional document templates within each category on an as-needed basis. If you have any questions, please contact your customer success manager or you can email support at jobtread.com and we'll be sure to help. Thanks!